Yeah, baby, that sweet, sweet iron. Let's see how to make that. All right, so the first thing you want to do is just come up a few blocks. I would say 20 blocks off the ground, maybe more, whatever you like, and build this 18 by 18 square right here. Uh, 18 in that direction, 18 in that direction, make it a full square. Once you have that down, come in uh, from one side and put on this uh, second block from the corner. So you skip a block and then one, two, three workstations. I'm going to use cauldrons here because they're not tile entity. And then step three is going to be adding a block here uh, in the, on the middle cauldron. Step four, come at the back of the cauldron, you added a block and add going to add our trap doors, one on the back, one up, just like that. Step five is we're going to add beds on top, just like this, right? All right, from here, you're going to want to go ahead and get your villagers in and doing so you're going to want to go ahead and remove a couple blocks around the beds that they can reach there is a baby in there Alright, yeah, put your villagers in. I would suggest maybe using uh, soul sand to raise them up from the ground, but that's up to you guys. Okay, so you have your villagers in, they can't escape, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the farm up to this level, and then I'll be right back. Alright, the next step you're going to need to do is actually place in a piston here. So we're going to go two blocks down from this block, so one, two, and on the side of that place a sticky piston with a half slab. Done that for all four here, and then above the bed, you're gonna place one block, a second block, and this half slab will be on the lower half. I like to also then go ahead and take and wrap this section here in uh, half slabs, and then we're gonna go ahead and remove these. So it's just like that, like that. And of course you can remove these blocks now, even this one. And that's when you're gonna place your zombie in. And if we then power him, that's when he's able to see the villagers and scare them. So we're going to do this for all four, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I forgot to mention, make sure you name tag these guys, or they will despawn on you. Now that you have all this in place, you can remove all the other blocks that we had in if you like. Those were all just temporary. And then we're going to do some redstone at this point. And you're going to need sticky pistons, some couple hoppers, some repairers and repeaters, redstone dust, and torches. Um, and then obviously you'll need a block that you want to do redstone on. And now that all our villagers and zombies are in place here, we're going to do a redstone a little bit like this. I'm going to place blocks on the side here to power these. All four, they're all exactly the same. Then we're going to run dust across. And there's going to be repeaters. And then this, uh, this set up here with comparators, this one facing in, this one facing out. And then there's going to be a block right here and a block right here. We're going to come back. These blocks here are going to be removed. Need to be there. We're going to come back and build a Etho Hopper Clock like this. Comparators. Dust. Some sticky pistons. Redstone block. 
Then we're just going to do a half a stack for now for testing, make sure it works. Alright, so what we do there is going to put a set of observers on each hopper and when it locks or unlocks, so they'll pulse at the same time. And it'll send pulses through here, through these blocks, into these pulse extenders. Just like that. Take screenshots if you guys need. And uh, that's the redstone setup. Pretty compact in my opinion. Get rid of these blocks. We want to make sure that, just like these here, we've half slabbed all of the uh, all of the components here. Make sure nothing can spawn on them. They shouldn't be able to spawn on um, redstone, but we can half slab all this just to be sure anyways. Uh, it never hurts to be over cautious. All the way down. And it helps to go ahead and have two and a half stacks of two and a half stacks in the ethyl hopper clock. Then what we want to do is we're going to come on top of all this, and then we're going to build a spawning platform. So on top of this block right here, we're actually in the place of this block actually remove those if you want to go even lower because it doesn't need to be any higher than this um, well, let's do that come out over top of these trap doors as well and over top of these beds so this is going to be our pattern here so over the trap doors over the beds I'm just going to make a big square here as you can see the the golems end up spawning up there quite nicely. Got one more. Boom, replace that. Sneeze. Oh, he killed my husk. <laughs> yeah, so just fill all this in at this point. Guys, and if you want to prevent the, um, yeah, if you guys want to prevent the golems from spawning while you're working on this, just put some levers here. Go ahead and power that. As my bad, go ahead and add one more on the side here where the beds are sideways. And on that side as well. We added one sticking out over top of the trap door. Now we need to stick one out past the beds on each side. That'll square this back up. Then we need to find the middle. Find the middle by adding blocks all the way down. Find the middle, we're going to go ahead and punch that out. And it's perfectly lined up here. Our middle should allow for iron golems to pass through right here. And we build a little bit of a sheet to fall in. Your golems will fall down here. We'll build a uh, kill chamber down at the bottom down here here in a minute. And then all you need to do now is just along these edges, we're going to go ahead and build up a wall.
take out these blocks. All right, now you need to figure out the water. So the water is going to definitely be too much to reach over there, so... Uh, the easiest way to, to figure that out is to place a block. Walls around it. I'm going to place that down. And we're going to go one, two, three... We're going to walk it out till we get it there. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, so that's eight blocks. So we're going to take these back out then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you gotta fill all these in. Wall. Get your water. Just gonna place water sources here in the corners on these uh, flat spots. And the golems should all ride on down to the bottom here. So what we're going to do is come down here to the bottom. Go down a couple more blocks here. Just going to put some hoppers in. This. Going to place some signs. right here this is where the lava is gonna go the iron golems are gonna fall right in here and they're gonna die now all we need to do is just turn these back off and we should have a working iron farm here Uh, to prevent the golems from spawning on the edge, it would be good to add a couple rows of glass around here, and that will keep them inside. And, yeah, so that's that's the farm complete, but right now I want to show you guys how to adapt this to 1.14.4. Uh, basically, we're going to build change our cells up to look like this. It appears to me that the villagers can't sleep when their beds are one block above them like this. And so what we ha basically have to do is place it so that their beds are at their foot level. So what we're gonna do here to modify this is we're gonna go ahead and remove power from here. And we're gonna place a piston underneath. We can remove that. The piston will take care of the zombie. We'll go ahead and remove this block as well. And gonna place one under here put the dust there and then our ports can go here but first we need to uh, box our zombie in just like this and when we torch it let's just go ahead and pull him down and he can put that in there to box him in for now all right the only thing is is where these half slabs are we need to have beds so we can actually um come down here and place blocks underneath like this those will be beds and then our we want trap doors right here 
So basically the villagers don't actually have to move, right? They're at the same height and level. So basically we're going to add the trapdoors there and then our beds are going to be in the place of the cauldron and the slab. Remove the cauldron and the slab and you can quickly place the bed. All right. Now what we want to do before we release the villagers here is we want to replace our cauldron or whichever workstation you're using. And we want to take and place those on these trapdoors like this. And then place another trapdoor up here. Just like so. And I didn't mean to release him yet because you can do all of this without releasing him and you can just flip all these up and the same thing here now these are being placed on the beds and then one above flip all these up and then he needs to be that should be good no You'll place it off of the trapdoor here and place it there. That should be the right height there. You can go ahead and remove these beds now and replace your uh, your torch. Also, additionally, like to um, place trapdoors off of these slabs here. That way, they can't. Uh, run off the side because when they get scared they tend to run off just like that so now they're all trapped in there and so yeah do all four modules like this and your iron should continue to come in we're actually in 1.14.4 pre 7 right now and so all of them sh should now be working once these guys work and sleep this module will work but this one currently is not. So that is a simple way to convert the cell uh, after it's already in working order. Okay, so to do the redstone in the corner here on the side with the pulse extenders, you need to just drop all three blocks down and replace all the redstone components just like this. Anyways, guys, I hope that helps. And uh, yeah. It's been Ike bringing you ideas and tutorials to help you survive and thrive in Minecraft. And until next time, guys, happy Minecraft, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.